Hello everyone and welcome to a new video, MC Mora here and in today's video we are gonna talk all about M. Bison and how you can use him in this season of Street Fighter V, so let us get started. So what type of character is Bison? Bison in my opinion is a low risk, high reward, offensive based character. He have a way of continuing his pressure game because most of his normals and even his specials are plus on block. As you can see the mediums and lights were plus, standing heavy kick is plus, down forward heavy punch is plus, EX scissor kick is plus, EX psycho blast is plus, so he have a lot of ways to sustain his pressure and keep going. So if you want a character who is really offensive, who can pressure his opponent with relative safety, Bison is the character for you. And not only that, Bison is also a pretty good neutral based character. This is because he dominates the mid range. From this distance, Bison is a very strong character because of his down forward heavy bunch. This is a forward moving crush counter attack. His standing heavy bunch is also fantastic. It's a heavy attack with a lot of range. His dash is really good from this distance. He can also do the EX scissors kick, which is really, really fast. So he have a lot of really powerful options from this range, which will enable him to dash and then throw his opponent and get some mix ups going. So is it all good with Bison? Of course not. He does have some very notable weaknesses. The first one is that as you can see his walk speed is really really slow. Bison doesn't move in the conventional ways. You will have to rely on your special moves like scissors, like the devil reverse, like dashing. You're gonna have to rely on a lot of moves or special moves to move your character. Psycho X and all of that. The other issue with Bison is his anti-air gain. I will not say that he have bad anti-airs, he just have unconventional anti-airs. For example, his grounded anti-air option is this crouching heavy bunch, but it is really slow. You can, it can work if you do it really early, but it is bad at hitting right above his head. It is a slow move and you have to do it really early to anti-air your opponent with it. But it is not all doom and gloom because he have his, this insane attack. This jumping medium bunch into medium bunch target combo could be one of the best air to airs in the game. It is certainly the best air to air in the game. This will beat everything in the air. It is incredible. And as you can see, you get really nice combos out of it. You also have a really annoying crouching jab anti-air. As you can see, his crouching light bunch is actually a really good anti-air, especially against cross-ups. So his options for anti-airs I wouldn't say are bad, but they are just unconventional. And he is a very unconventional character in general. Bison also kinda suffer on defense because he doesn't have an invincible reversal. Bison have two kinda invincible attacks. The first one is of course his super. The second one is if he have V trigger one on, you can do the EX hit scissors and that actually does have invincibility. So overall, he is a character with very safe pressure, very high damage, good V-triggers, good neutral control, but he is slow, his anti-airs are kinda weird or unorthodox, and he does suffer on defense because he doesn't have get off me or wake up attack. So now, as we always do, we are going to start with the light attacks, and Bison have really good light attacks. Let's start with the standing light punch. His standing light punch is 4 frames, so it is not the fastest light ever, but it have really good utility. First of all, it's very good for combos, as it combos into itself. So you can get it to combo into itself. It combos into itself twice, and if your opponent is crouching, it actually can combo into itself 3 times. So on a crouching opponent, you can get it to hit 3 times. On a standing opponent, it hits only twice. But if you happen to land this, let's say they are crouching, if you happen to land this, you can then combo a scissor kick, you can combo a blast, you can combo it into inferno, 
you can combo it into EX scissors. So you get actually a lot of option as to how you want to combo from this. And this attack is not only good on hit, it's also really really good on block. You can do a lot with this attack on block. So if your opponent here is blocking, let's here have Guile is blocking everything. As you can see it is plus 3 on block. Plus 3 on block is very very good because this means that you can throw your opponent if they are blocking it. So for example Guile here is blocking our jab, then we get to throw him. And you get to frame trap with this as well. You can also shimmy. So for example, here by, uh, Guile will try to break a throw. We showed him that we are trying to grab him after the jab. So he is trying to take the throw. So then you can do jab into jab. And this will hit him. So you can do jab into jab into medium. You can do like jab medium into crouching medium. You can do jab walk backward to shimmy him and then get conversion so it is very very good as you can see it have a lot of utility it's a frame trap option you can use it in combos it's very very good on counter hit combos it's also excellent because on a counter hit you can get it to combo into his crouchy standing medium so you can do stuff like that which is really really good this is really good meterless damage Overall, his standing light punch is very, very strong. I'll say it is a very strong light, and the benefit of getting it to hit three times against crouching opponent is very, very good. The second attack he have is, of course, the crouching light. And the crouching light punch for Bison is kind of like his standing light punch in a way. It combos into the scissors only, and it doesn't combo into the blast. So it is a little bit worse on hit. So on hit, as you can see, this is not a 3 hit, it's a 2 hit only. So your options are limited to doing the scissors kick. Which is a little bit unfortunate, you get lesser option. But you can actually get it to combo from the crouching light punch into the standing light punch. So you can get this to combo. So if you happen to land it, you can then combo the standing one and then cancel into the inferno. Or cancel into the scissor or whatever you want. This attack also is really good again for tech throws, so you can do it and then throw your opponent after, or do it and then shimmy them, and then you can get really big conversions. Again, also really good as a frame trap. It is like a crouching, a standing light bunch in many ways, but you know, they are kind of similar in functionality. But this attack have a really important functionality for Python. And that is, it actually is a really decent anti-air. If you could believe it, this is actually a pretty nice anti-air. So if your opponent is jumping at you, as you can see, you will be able to anti-air your opponent. It is a little bit risky, because if your opponent is jumping with a heavy, like Guile is jumping here, they can beat it clean, especially if they are doing it early. So it, it, there is risk associated to this anti-air. As you can see, if Guile is doing the heavy kick early, it will lose every single time. So if I'm trying to do it to anti-air a jumping heavy kick, it will lose. But if he's doing it late or if he's doing a cross-up attack, you will see that it is a decent anti-air. It's a kind of an anti-air that you use on a read. But it is an option and it's an option that you'll see many of the high-level Bison players using. It's one of the moves that you will have to learn how to use to be really effective with this character. The third light that Bison have is the Crouching Light Kick. And the Crouching Light Kick is kinda generic again in a way, but it does have also really good functionality. The Crouching Light Kick is plus two, and it leaves him in throw range, so again, you can throw your opponent after it. So that is really, really good. It's not as good for frame trapping because you're not as plus, but you still can get some frame traps out of this was if you decided to frame trap into the jabs so you can get something like this and this is a decent frame trap you can also use it to shimmy your opponent all of his lights kind of function in a similar way they're not that unique but this one has the benefit of being a low and because it's a low you can get it to combo into his standing light kick only so you can do crouching light kick into standing light kick and then get a combo into scissors it's, it's a decent it's a decent amount of damage and it puts you in a good situation because you can then throw your opponent or you can just combo into the EX scissors, you know, that's all the combo on counter hit. But just getting this is good because then you can get the shimmy 
or get whatever you want. The final light Bison have is his standing light kick. This one is very, 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 very important for Bison because this is his three frame attack. Again, three frame is the fastest a normal can be in Street Fighter V, so having a three frame is very good. But this has a lot of weird quirks to it. First of all, it is minus two on block, so it is not a good pressure normal. You don't want to use this on pressure, or you don't want to use it standalone. You're not going to use it by itself. It has a lot of uses in many situations. The first situation is, of course, defensively. If your opponent is trying to pressure you, your fastest move is this attack, it is this reframe. So this is what you can use to interrupt your opponent. So for example, if Bison here or Guile is doing a block string like that one, my best option for interruption is the standing light kick. As you can see, I use my standing light kick and I was able to interrupt him. So this is its main use. It also has other very interesting uses. The standing light kick is very interesting in how it combos and what it combos into. It combos into the light kick scissors normally, right? But it doesn't combo into the blast. So this isn't a 2 hit, but this is a 4 hit. Or a 3 hit. And this is very very important. Because this tells you if your opponent is trying to press buttons or not. Here is the thing. After Bison's down forward heavy punch, the Psycho Axe, let's here have Guy load blocking. After the Psycho Axe, Bison is plus one. And because he has his three frame, his standing light kick is guaranteed to beat all of the other attacks in the game, all of the other normals in the game. So you are gonna do the Psycho Axe and gonna be close to your opponent. You're gonna be at a plus one advantage. So you then can use your standing light kick. And this is very important because when you use it, you can then do a light kick scissors and this is minus four on block. The light kick scissor as you can see. So this is a little bit unsafe. Or you can do it and then combo into the light blast. And the reason that this is important is because the light blast will combo on a counter hit. So for example, if we repeat the same sequence that we were doing, Let's have, let's have Guile try to block our Psycho Axe and then interrupt. As you can see, on a counter hit, we were able to hit Guile, right? But if Guile is just blocking and is not trying to interrupt or challenge at all, it's not gonna combo, right? So this is very important. Light kick into scissors or light kick into blast. When you're playing Bison, you want to do light kick into blast early on. This will tell you if your opponent is trying to challenge or if he is trying to mash during your block string. So light kick into scissors or light kick into blast is very, very important. On combo, you want to go into scissors and on block, you want to go into blast and this will tell you, okay, this guy is respecting my pressure or this guy is trying to challenge, so I will frame trap him even more. And of course, you can also do it and then cancel into the EX scissors, which is plus on block, and it repeats the same situation. So after EX scissors, or after the Psycho X, you are still at this plus one situation, where the mix up out of the light kick is really, really strong. So now we are going to talk about Bison medium normals and his medium normals are decent, I would say. They are not fantastic, but they are pretty decent. Let's start with the standing medium punch. And this standing medium punch is pretty interesting. I think it's really good attack on hit, but on block, I don't like it that much, in all honesty. On hit, you can get it to combo into his crouching medium. So this could be your bread and butter combo. You do a jumping attack, standing medium, crouching medium, into medium inferno if you are good with charge you can combo into medium kick scissors which will put you in a throw or shimmy situation which is not bad so it is a decent attack on hit especially because it also has this target combo associated with it which is medium punch into down forward heavy punch so it's medium punch down forward heavy punch 
This is pretty good for activating, especially with V Trigger 2. So if you have V Trigger 2 on, this is the activating from this is gonna be one of your better activations because it kind of moves you forward. So it is really, really good in that regard. So it is a pretty good attack on hit. The issue with this attack, in my opinion, is that it is not that great on block, which is the main reason I don't like it that much. It is seven frames, but it's only plus two on block. This means that if your opponent try to challenge with a three frame, it will be impossible for you to go or you know do a medium to medium frame trap so here Shan Li is gonna try to do her three frame on block i'm gonna do my standing medium and gonna try to do it again as you can see i got counter hits i'm gonna do my standing medium and then i will try to do my crouching medium punch again i'm getting counter hit crouching medium kick getting counter hit standing medium kick getting counter hit so you can do any standing medium into another medium and it is not special cancelable. I ca I'm trying to like cancel it into Inferno or anything. Nothing is gonna come out. It's not a special cancelable attack. You can do a special after his standing medium. So you are left with doing standing medium into light. So for example, I'm gonna do standing medium into standing light punch, which is nice, but shake the pushback. Because of the pushback, I'm unable to get a good counter hit conversion here. So even so I got the hit, I'm not getting a good conversion. And this is pretty much my issue with this standing medium punch. It is good on hit, you can hit confirm into some good damage, but on block it doesn't lead to anything really good, which is a bit problematic. This is a normal that you can always challenge if you're fighting against Bison, because he can't do much out of it that will lead to value. The best thing Bison can do is a high read situation like going into crouching jab and then maybe heavy kick scissor or EX scissors I mean. So this is like your best case, this is, a much, this is the most that you're gonna get out of it, which in my opinion kinda sucks. The other normal that he have is his crouching medium. And the crouching medium is a lot better. This have a lot of utility in combos because again, it is a normal that you can combo into from his standing medium bunch, so you can do this. It combos out of his standing heavy kick, so you can get a cancel. It combos after his psycho axe, so then you can get a conversion. And it also is plus three on hit, so you can combo a light kick after it. This means that you can get a combo like that. Which is pretty nice. You do Psycho X, Crouching Media Punch into Standing Light Kick. Which can lead to some good damage. The Crouching Medium is also a really good whiff punish. So if your opponent is whiffing an attack, let's have Shan Li here whiff something. As you can see, even from some distance, I can actually whiff punish Shan Li. If I have charge, you can even get EX Scissors, which will lead to a hard knockdown then you can get some setups going. So overall, his crouching medium punch is very, very good. It have a lot of use in utility. It's It have a lot of range, as you can see. Good whiff punish. It's a cancelable no medium, so it is his only cancelable medium along with his crouching medium kick. So you're gonna use it a lot for frame traps, gonna use it a lot for combos, gonna use it to whiff punish. Really good normal. The third one he have is, of course, the standing medium kick. This is a very good poke. It's actually really, really good. This one is one of his better options, I will say. It's one of his better books. The range on it is really nice, as you can see. It is kind of fast. It will catch your opponent if you're trying to jump. It doesn't lead to much, but it's a really annoying attack. So if you use a lot of attacks that will leave your opponent out of range, you can always do your standing medium kick. And notice that it goes over lows. She's trying to do her crouching light kick, but it is beating it. Even if Shan Li here is trying to do a, her crouching medium kick after it, she will get beat. So this beats a lot of lows, and it's a really good book all around. The final low that Bison have is of course his crouching medium kick. And crouching medium kick is really really good, I will say. It have a lot of range, again, like everything Bison have a lot of range, as you can see, this is this is actually really far for the crouching medium kick. 
and it is special cancelable of course so you can then cancel it into scissors and as you can see if she try to mash after it she's gonna get counter hit so it is in normal that you kinda don't want to challenge as you can see you can frame trap with it into the blast into the scissors you can frame trap with it into the medium punch blast so it, it is really good as frame trap as well and it's good for catching your opponent trying to walk backwards that is generally the main use of it as you can see you can also counter hit into it from his standing medium light punch so you can get conversions like this it is good to have cancelable low generally in Street Fighter 5 it is good to have a cancelable low this one is not only cancelable it frame traps it combos into really good stuff on hit because on hit you can get it to combo into Light Inferno, you can get it to combo into Scissors, you can get it to combo into EX Scissors, which is really really good, you can get it to combo into EX Inferno, so it is really really good, it is a really good medium attack in general, Bison I would say have decent medium attacks, I like the crouching medium and the standing, the crouching medium kick and punch are nice, and the standing medium kick is nice, it's just that I find his standing medium punch to be a little bit disappointing. So let us now talk about Bison heavy attacks and I'm gonna start with the one that is kind of a throwaway and that is his crouching heavy punch. This is strictly an anti-air and even it's not that good at that. So you're just gonna use it to anti-air your opponent. But like we said earlier, it is kinda slow. It is prone to getting hit by a cross-up so... It's purely an anti-air and even at that it is not that fantastic. It's honestly kind of a weak attack in my opinion. Not much to do with it otherwise you can't combo after it. As you can see even if you do it you are minus 5 on hit. So this is just a pure anti-air and nothing else. You can maybe use it to V trigger cancel but there are much better buttons to use for that situation. Overall pure anti-air but even eh that's an anti-air. Let's, begin the, let's then get to the good stuff, and the good stuff start with his standing heavy punch. This is a triple S tier heavy punch. This heavy punch is fantastic, like I cannot express how good this is. First of all the range is fantastic as you can see, it is special cancelable, so you can then cancel it into the blast or you can cancel it into the scissors and it's gonna be a big part of your pressure game as a bison it is the reason why bison dominates this range not many characters have tools that can fight from this distance but bison does so this is a fantastic normal that will dominate this range the hitbox is excellent it's gonna beat many of the other attacks you're gonna use it and then go to blast or ex blast then go to heavy psycho axe there is so much that you can do this is one of the key moves for dominating this range and let's not waste any time and get to the other one and that is the heavy the down forward and heavy punch or the psycho axe the psycho axe and the standing heavy punch are why bison is such a strong character First of all, of course, the Psycho Axe is a crush counter-attack. So as you can see, this is a crush counter-attack. And it puts them in a spin state crush counter. So if you happen to land it, you can actually get a heavy punch after it. And the heavy punch is actually insane on hit. I, I, I kept talking about it on block. I didn't even mention how good it is on hit. On hit, it you can't link any normal after it. It's only minus one. But it combos into the heavy punch inferno. And this is significant because after the heavy inferno they are in a juggle state so you can then combo a light blast or a light scissor so i'm gonna do heavy punch into heavy inferno then light blast and as you can see this was really chunky beefy meterless damage i can also do the same but then do a scissor after you can even do an ex scissor if you want there's so many things that you can get. This is a very good combo route. Overall, it also combos into his heavy kick scissors, by the way, which puts you in the best possible situation. You're very close to your opponent, you're plus two, so you can then throw them or do a shimmy. 
Heavy Bunch is fantastic on hit, it's fantastic on block, it dominates this range, it, yeah, hitbox is fantastic, the range is fantastic, it is everything honestly. The other attacks that complement it so much is the Psycho Axe. And the beauty of the Psycho Axe is that it reaches a little bit further than his standing Heavy Bunch, so this will wave from this distance, but the Psycho Axe will connect. And if the Psycho Axe happened to hit, it is plus 6 on hit, so you do get a crouching medium bunch after it. So then you can get a conversion like that into medium bunch inferno. Or you can maybe do it and then combo into scissors if you want. And if it happened to land as a crush counter, you can combo a heavy bunch. So you can do a, crouch, a double forward heavy bunch into heavy bunch, psycho axe into heavy bunch. And then get a damage. That is like 316 damage. From a forward moving plus on block crush counter. If you ever play Street Fighter V, I'm sure you realize how ridiculous Psycho X is. Absolutely fantastic attack. And this attack also is one of the keystones to Bison's pressure game. Because, like we said, it is plus one on block. Because it's plus one, you are always entitled or, you know, encouraged to do your standing light kick which will of course beat any other attack then you can steal your turn with EX Blast maybe you will do EX Scissors maybe you will do it and just do Light Punch Blast which will frame trap there's a lot that you can do here there's a lot that you can do with this basically the gameplay of Bison is how tight you want your block strings to be because you can go for very tight frame traps like these or you can go for big gaps in your frame traps, stuff like that. And basically your opponent will forever be blocking because they know you are plus. So you are gonna swing with big normals and when they hit, you are gonna land big damage. And that's why I was saying that Bison is a relatively low risk, high reward character. Because you can play him completely safe or you can just take massive, you know, put massive gaps in your pressure. But because the reward is so high, that one time you're, you catch your opponent off guard and you catch him with a hit, you're gonna land a ton of damage. And of course, let's now talk about the third, or this was the fourth normal, the standing heavy kick. This is the pain of the existence of the online players, because this is a heavy kick that is plus three on block. So it's not, it's not really weird to see Bison dashing and then doing a heavy kick. And this crush counters more than anyone is willing to admit. Like people get caught with this because they are expecting a throw. So they will try to throw break. Bam! They eat a standing heavy kick in their face. Then if it happens to land, you can combo a lot after this. You can do a heavy punch into a heavy blast if you want. You can do a psycho axe. There are many conversions that you can do here. My favorite is just this one because it puts you in a decent position. Heavy kick is a very important normal in Bison pressure because having a crush counter that leads to a crumble state is very very good. Overall, is that his heavies are excellent. They are excellent for pressure. They are basically what allow him to swing from this range with little to no care because it's the, his attacks are very hard to beat. They have very good hitboxes, very high priority, leads to high damage, and they're all safe. The standing heavy bunch is technically minus six, but it is special cancelable. So you can like special cancel it into the blast or the medium blast, even light blast and be safe. They're all really, really good. The final heavy bison have is his crouching heavy kick, his sweep. And his sweep is this long range slide. This is a neutral tool, it's interesting, you can use it to close to your opponent, of course it hits low, so if they are trying to walk back, this can shake them, it crush counters of course and leads to a hard knockdown, like all other sweeps, it's really really good for V-trigger activations as well, so if your opponent is blocking, you can do it, activate V-trigger, and now you're gonna be plus in their face, mostly you're gonna be using this either in the neutral to surprise your opponent, or you're gonna use it to activate your V trigger. These are gonna be the most prominent uses for the sweep. In my opinion, Bison have like insanely good heavy attacks. They allow him to dominate the mid range, like I said many times. You're gonna have to abuse them.
you're gonna have to abuse them because they are that good. So let's now talk about Bison's jumping attacks and his V skills. Let's start with the jumping attacks and the first attack I want to talk about is his jumping heavy punch. His jumping heavy punch is actually a really good forward jumping attack. It hits at a good downwards angle so this will beat many of the light attacks anti-airs just because of the sharp angle on it and on hit it, you, it's a so plus that you can get you know whatever combo you want at this position it's a really good jumping attack his jumping heavy kick is also really good because it hits from a far distance so if you are from somewhere like here the jumping heavy kick will still hit as you can see it is very vertical the angle isn't that good downwards but it is horizontally it is very very good like you can do it even really late and it, it allows you to get jump bins from far distances which is really really good the jumping medium kick is his cross-up attack and again this is an excellent cross-up this is actually really really good the hitbox is gigantic and it is also really plus on hit so you can get whatever you want you can comfortably get a standing medium into crouching medium combo so all these three attacks are really good for jumping. There are two really important attacks. The first one is his jumping light punch. This is very good as an anti-air. When your opponent is trying to jump in at you, so let's for example here have it try to jump at us, and you'll find that the jumping jab is actually really good as an anti-air. Using it early like that to anti-air your opponent is actually really, really nice, especially when you're jumping backward, because as you can see, the angle is really good and it comes out really really fast so this is like your emergency jump back anti-air normal it's very very good his other air normal and this is one of the best air normals in the game is the jumping medium punch and it have a target combo attached to it you do medium twice and this is one of the best anti-airs in the game and you get big conversions out of it as you can see you can do it really really late and it's still gonna anti air your opponent and you get massive conversions out of it so if i do something like scissors here i can actually get a super which is really really good blast will only work in the corner but you still get a really good knockdown so jumping medium bunch is excellent you can do it really really late and you will find that it's still beating a ton of stuff and if you have the v skill one on you can even get like even more with that thing so it is very very good now let's talk about his V skills. The first V skill as you can saw or as you saw is his this absorb thing. And this is a parry. It's a projectile parry and it's a physical parry. It's kind of a two in one. When you are fighting against a fireball, it will absorb the fireball. If you just press the normal, if you just press the button, it will absorb it. And you will notice that the V skill icon is glowing on the bottom left. So when I press V skill again, Bison will just throw out a very quick double hitting fireball. Actually, fun fact, his V skill release, this is the fastest projectile in the game. This is faster than Guile's EX Sonic Boom. So his projectile absorb and then toss is really fast. If you hold the V skill while you are absorbing, you will throw it right away. So you can throw, you can store it and then throw it whenever you want. Or you can throw it right away, right back at them. Both of them are really, really work. When you store the fireball, like listen, like now it's stored, you can even use it in combos. So you can do something like standing medium bunch, crouching medium bunch into V skill, and he will instantly throw it. So it is really, really good for that. It can be used a lot in combos. Now let's talk about the other aspect of his V skill, and that is the physical hit. And the physical hit is very interesting because when Bison parries a physical attack, he will start a canned animation. And actually what you're seeing is one of the issues. The cancel window or the window on the parry is tight and when you miss it, you are in a crush counter state. When you are right, he does this blowback attack, which is not that fantastic. It's not fantastic for many reasons. First of all, it just does, you just do 100 damage and 150 stun, it's not that much. If you are trying, for example, to like bury an, a jumping attack, your opponent can land and block, so you don't even get much out of that. As you can see, it is not that fantastic. But it is plus on block, so you are in a plus on block situation, but there is so much pushback. 
And one of the other issues is that it can be actually, you know, it can whiff completely. So if you're trying to bury something like this, as you can see, it will just go to the other direction and Bison was minus five in this situation. So I do think the projectile bury is really good, but the physical bury by itself doesn't lead to much. It it's slow, so your opponent will most likely block. Yeah, you're B+, plus, but at a big distance from your opponent, so you don't get to do much out of it. And if it whiffs, you are in a crush counter state. So using it as a physical berry is risky. But as a fireball absorb, it is really, really good. His other V-skill is also really interesting. Bison's V-skill 2 is a teleport. He will teleport to the other side, and this is a homing teleport. He doesn't move a set distance. He will move to cross up his opponent. This is really, really good in some ways, but it's also really bad. It's really good because it crosses side, and if your opponent happened to block, it is plus on block. It's plus one on block, so you can actually always challenge with your light kick and get whatever you want. And if it happens to hit, you actually get a small combo here. As you can see, or you can do a blast, you can do whatever you want. It's actually really good on hit. So the issue with this is that because it is slow, it is actually throwable. Your opponent can hit you out of it. There are many ways to counter this. You might try to use the EX blast and then use it, you know, kind of two in one it. But again, this is also, you can be thrown out of this. It is not as perfect as it seems. So this V skill is nice. But I actually think V-Skill 1 is still better overall. The benefit of this V-Skill is when you are cornered. So if your opponent have you in the corner, you might want to use it to just switch sides. But again, it's not that fantastic, honestly. If your opponent knows the matchup, and most people know the Bison matchup at this point, if they know it, they can stop it and combo punish you. So there is a lot of risks to this. But it is plus on block and you get a small hit on, you get small combo on hit. So it's not that bad. So now let us talk about M. Bison's special moves and I'm gonna start to talk about his knee press. Knee press is done by pressing back, to charge back and then press forward and a kick. And there is a light, medium and heavy versions. The light of course is the fastest but it travels the shortest. Medium goes a little bit further, heavy goes the furthest but is the slowest. These attacks are really good to use in the mid range. So if you are like from this distance from your opponent, throwing out a light scissors is really, really good. Medium is also nice and heavy. Heavy is kind of slow, but you can absolutely still do it. And these are really good in the neutral because from this distance, they are fast and they have, they are relatively safe. If your opponent is blocking, as you can see, you can do light kick scissors and if they block it, you're gonna be minus four, but there's a lot of distance. Medium will be minus three, but again, a lot of distance. Heavy will be almost completely safe at a minus two. So they are good to do in the neutral, but they are also really, really good in combos. Basically, the rule of the thumb is you can combo into the lights from anything. Light, light knee press will combo from anything. Medium will combo from his medium normals and his standing light bunch. And heavy will only combo from his heavies. So out of lights, you can do your light kick scissors. Out of mediums, you can do medium scissors. And out of heavy, you will get to do his heavy scissors. And there is something that I have to mention and it is actually really important. Due to the property called negative edge, if you press the punch normal into the special move too quickly, this is actually going to happen a lot. You're going to get the blast. So for example, if I do my crouching media punch into forward and a kick to get the scissors, as you can see many times, the game might actually give me the blast. So for example, I'm going to try to do it again. It's hard to emulate negative edge, but it is an issue. So like you have to be careful. A lot of times you will want to do this, but the game will give you this, as you can see. Even so, if you looked at my inputs, I didn't do the blast at all, but the game still gave it to me. So it is something that you have to be careful. You want to slow down your inputs a little bit with Bison, just to make sure that you are getting the correct inputs. It is, it, it kind of sucks, but it is what it is. So 
Anyways, let's get back to what we were on. So when you do land a scissors, they put you in a really good situation. You're gonna be at a plus two, which is really, really nice. Because basically, after a scissor, you are close to your opponent and you are at an advantage. So you can just throw them after it or check with a maybe a shimmy or whatever. They will take a grab and then you get to do another one. Or you can just keep checking them. So for example, you can do something like this. You keep shaking your opponent. It can be really annoying. You are basically resetting the same annoying situation. They will get tired of it and then you throw them and, you know, get another sequence of pressure going. So the scissors attacks are really, really good for Bison, in my opinion. And the EX scissors is fantastic. EX scissors is insane. The range on it is really, really good. As you can see, the range is really, really big. And it is super fast, and if you happen to land it from somewhat close, it's not even really close, like a half screen range. If you happen to land it from half screen range, it leads to a hard knockdown. So a hard knockdown means that your opponent cannot quick rise. So you are guaranteed to dash, and you're guaranteed a plus three. Even if I set Juri here to normal recovery, so with normal recovery, she will get up quickly, right? After an EX scissors, it's a hard knockdown, she cannot get up quickly. That means that I will get my guaranteed dash into throw mix-up, which is fantastic. This is also really, really good because it is plus on block. So if your opponent happens to block this, you are gonna be at plus one, so you get to actually do it again. You can do a sub you can do some sequences like this and just ship your opponent with it. So scissor attacks are really, really good. EX scissors are really, really good. They are good in combos and they are good in the neutral. The other special moves that Bison have is of course the Inferno. And Inferno is done by pressing Fireball backwards and punch. And again, light, medium, and heavy. And these are unsafe. So as you can see, the light is minus 12, medium is minus 11, heavy is minus 10. So you, you shouldn't do the Inferno on block at all. This is a tag that you only use for combos. The idea behind the Inferno is that it is what you should be doing when you don't have charge. So for example, if I'm close to my opponent, but I wasn't charging because Bison is a charge character. If I wasn't charging for my scissors or blast, I could just do a quarter circle back and punch and get my Inferno. This is just a quick combo without having to have charge. For example, your opponent whiffed something while you were walking forward, so you do get a medium punch into Inferno, right? These are combo attacks. That is the primary, that is the primary use for the Inferno. They also negate projectiles, so you can use them for that. So for example, if Juri is throwing out a fireball, the Inferno can deplete the fireball, but again, this have a lot of recovery, so I wouldn't recommend it that much. Overall, Inferno is mostly a combo attack. You are gonna use the Light Inferno out of the Japs, especially his standing Light Punch. So you can combo it into the Inferno. Out of the Medium, you can get Medium Inferno, which is nice. And out of the Heavy, you get Heavy Inferno. And Heavy Inferno sets up a Juggle State. So you can then follow with Light Scissors or Light Blast or EX Blast or EX Scissors. You can get a lot here. So the heavy is gonna be used a lot for your maximum damage combos. Overall, they are combo attacks. And we, we will see in the combo section later on that there are many combos where you will have to utilize the Inferno. And of course, EX Inferno is the same thing. It is decent that it hits on both sides. So if your opponent jumped in on you, you can kind of cross, you know, you can anti-air with it. But I wouldn't recommend that, to be honest. But it is also a combo attack, and the good thing about the EX Inferno is that it is safer than the other one. As you can see, it is minus one, so you are safe when you're doing it. You can like fish with this, and if they happen to block it, you know, who cares, you're safe. The other attack that Bison has is the Blast, and Blast is really interesting. Blast is a move that you will want to use in your pressure sequence. Blast is very good for pressure. Because Light Blast will combo from his jabs. And Medium Blast will combo from his Medium Bunch. Heavy Blast will combo from his Standing Heavy Bunch. So again, Light combo from Light, Medium from Medium, Heavy from Heavy. 
and bless are really good to use on block so when your opponent is blocking as you can see the heavy blast is minus heavy blast is plus two medium is minus one and the light is minus two and these are really good in frame traps for example if your opponent here is trying to shake you after blocking like they're trying to press they're, they're gonna block your attack and then try to press something you can absolutely use them to frame trap your opponent so you can do something like this this is a block string right but this is a frame trap i can do the light and be completely safe or i can use a medium and frame trap my opponent with it or i can use the heavy but the heavy is interruptible although it is the plus on block one so out of standing i can do the medium to frame traps them so basically the light one will be a block string this is a general guess of it light is the safest it's just a true block string your opponent cannot match medium is the one that you use for frame traps if your opponent tries to interrupt as you can see jury is trying here she gets hit and if she's having to block everything well now jury is gonna block everything and will not try to challenge I can do the heavy, the heavy is plus two, so I get to challenge again. So I can do something like this. Basically, it is you are guessing what your opponent is gonna do. Use the medium one for frame trap and the heavy to, to remain plus. You will, have, you will have to do either one of these two. And the light is the safe, the light is just a block string. It's just you like you're just taking your turn, you're just getting the guaranteed damage. But for mix-ups and frame traps, medium and heavy is the way to go. And EX Blast is a really good move. EX Blast is a slow-moving, double-hitting projectile. And it goes full screen. So you can use this one and walk behind it to get close to your opponent. So you can do something like this. And then, as you can see, it lets you close the distance to your opponent. It can also be used in block strings because it is heavily plus. As you can see, this was plus 6. So then you get to do stuff like this. Look at how much ship damage we did to Jury. If we like combine all of our plus frames and all of our moves, we were able to get a lot. So Bison in general is about how you can frame trap your opponent. You have a lot of plus moves. Some of them are really tight. Some of them leave gaps like the heavy blast. But the mix up is do I leave a big gap and hopefully get a better reward on block? Or do I go for the frame trap with the medium blast? Or do I just go for the block string with the light? This is basically the mix up with Bison. His other special attack is his uh, head stomp. Head stomp is done by charging down plus basically hold down to charge and then press upward and kick and again light medium and heavy and here is the thing this attack will just hit your opponent on their head and then you get to move you are free to move here and if you press a bunch on the way down you will do this attack but this can't cross up so you cannot hit your opponent from the other side it will always hit from the front right but it can be good to mix it up like you can go back and forth like that confuse your opponent and then land on them or you can just hop away and escape so you can if you're cornered you can do something like that to just get away it's really really good in corner situation actually so if i'm cornered like that i can do this and hoppa i'm out right it's really really good for that when bison is going on the way up as you know if we press if you're holding down and then press up and kick he does the head stomp right if bison presses bunch on the way up he will do the what's he called the devil reverse he will come down quickly he will not go all the way and head stomp on the head he will just cut it short and do this downwards attack and you basically have to make mix a match between these two playing bison is a lot of mixing and matching this blast ex scissors or heavy scissors maintaining your turn so these are one of your key they are one of your key attacks to getting around the screen basically you want to be doing a lot of this a lot of mixing it up these are your movement techniques bison is really slow so using the scissors using the head stomps and all of that is really good for crossing the screen the ex version of this attack is completely busted actually it's ridiculous so ex scissors is really really fast you can use this to get out of you can use it to quickly close the distance to your opponent when it hits 
Z again gets a hard knockdown. So you get to dash and then throws him after. And when you do the EX Devil Reverse, which is punch as I'm going up, this is insane. You can just get up here and bam. You completely, you know, you completely messed up with your timing. EX Devil Reverse in general is one of Bison's key attacks. It's one of the attacks that you're gonna have to abuse a lot. You might even wanna fake it. So you can do, like, make it seem like you're gonna cross up and then land on the other side and then throw them. There is a lot that you can do here. This attack is one of Bison's best attacks. And again, if you are cornered, let's, for example, have here Julie try to do the same thing. I can just escape with this and again like we said earlier if we if you are if you are cornered you can do your head stomp and just escape with this it's a very good move for corner escape overall bison have some excellent special attacks honestly every single one of his special attacks are really really good and each of them have their uses you want to use the scissors in combos and in the neutral you want to use the blast for frame traps you want to use the Inferno for combos and you want to use the head stomps both for escaping the corner, for closing the distance and for general mobility. So let's now talk about Bison and his V triggers and I'm gonna start to talk about his V trigger 1. His V trigger 1 is pretty good. It used to be amazing early on during the game life cycle but I feel like over time people kind of learned how to play against it. It does give Bison a pretty good utility, but a 3 bar V trigger is still something that you have to consider because you get it kinda late in the match. Anyways, the benefit of this being a 3 bar V trigger is that Bison gets to activate it from special moves. So you can do scissors into V trigger, you can do inferno into V trigger, you can do, you know, inferno, you can do even blast into V trigger. So you do get to activate it from special moves, which is really nice. This is a good benefit because, for example, if you if we here have can you block everything? As you can see, that was plus twenty plus something. So this is a really really strong activation. So the benefit, the main benefit is of it being three bars is that you get strong activations, and of course, just even activating from scissors is a really good activation. Now, the best activation, in my opinion, is this one, out of the Heavy Inferno. Out of the Heavy Inferno, you're gonna be so plus that you will get to do whatever you want. You, you can actually do a lot here, you are so plus, you can shimmy, you can throw your opponent. One thing that you have to kinda consider is that if you activate from Light Kick Scissors, you are minus two. So this is something that you have to be careful of. Light Kick Scissors, you will make the Light Kick Scissors safe, but it's not a plus on block activation and for a 3 bars V trigger you don't want to activate on something that is negative if you want to activate the V trigger honestly just rush at the opponent and do heavy inferno and then activate your V trigger from there this is what is really really good enough talking about the activation and let's talk about the actual V trigger itself what does it do for Bison? it actually does quite a lot when Bison is in this V trigger as you can see he is in a power up state the first thing that you will notice is that his dashes go a much longer distance. So for example, full screen, full screen, it takes me about three dashes to get to Kami, right? But with the V trigger two on, I only get to use there by two. So like I usually need three dashes to, to go full screen, but with this V trigger, I need only two. His dash generally doesn't cross up, but with V trigger one, you can actually cross to the other side. So it makes his dash a lot deadlier because you can do something like this and just surprise your opponent. It can be actually really hard to stop Bison when he's dashing back and forth like that, right? So this is really, really good. And again, you saw me do light kick into blast and how is that possible? Isn't the blast a charge attack? How did I just cross up to the other side and do the blast? And well, my friend, this is one of the main benefits of this V trigger. Bison doesn't have to charge for his special during combos or block strings anymore. So I could be walking forward, as you can see, do crouching jab into head stomp. And I didn't charge downward. As you can see, I was just walking forward and I just did this. I can walk forward, 
do heavy punch into blast and that is one of the key benefits of this V-Trigger is that you don't have to charge anymore and because you don't have to charge anymore stuff like that is now possible just crossing up to the other side and then doing light kick to blast or even like medium kick to EX scissors whatever right now that is possible because bison doesn't have to charge anymore so that is really really strong the second benefit that bison gets is that he gets to cancel any special move to an EX special or EX special to an EX special so for example I can do light punch blast jab into light blast and typically this is a good knockdown right i'm doing 120 damage but check this out with this v trigger i can do jab into blast and then do ex scissors and again i'm not even charging i'm just pressing back into back forward punch into back forward ex kicks and i'm getting this i can also do something else i can do like crouchy medium into scissors and out of the scissors i can do like ex blast and as you see, this will do a lot of damage. I'm not charging for any of this. Then I get like a Psycho Axe to spike them, and that's like 300 damage. And not only that, you can actually get some crazy high damage out of this. Like, check out this combo. A basic combo of Crouching Medium Bunch into st Standing Medium Bunch to Crouching Medium Bunch. That's like instant 400 plus damage. That is crazy. Because you can do Scissors, cancel the Scissors to EX Inferno, and then cancel the EX Inferno to the EX Headstone and that is doing so much so quickly right and one thing that you have to know is that if you are doing the move in the, in the neutral I can do back forward to get scissors it have to be a cancel so if I'm doing here back forward I'm not getting scissors but if I do jab into back forward I will get it so you don't get to charge only if you are cancelling it from another normal right so this tells us that bison gets an incredible amount of burst damage he gets some good mix-ups because this now can lead to a lot as you can see this is crazy high damage you can even cross up look at how much damage you got from a very quick very sudden cross up that is crazy high damage but here is the downside if you notice we are using a lot of ex bar this V trigger is really good as long as you have EX meter. When you are out of EX meter, it is not that good. Basically, you will need to use your EX bar. So when you are having this V trigger, it is crucial that you are using your EX bar. If you are spending your bar non-stop, if I'm constantly doing stuff like that, now we will activate my V trigger, and yeah, it's gonna be decent, but my reward is gonna be substantially less right i don't get the burst damage so while it is a really decent v trigger in my opinion it gives bison some really high burst damage but it's also very ex meter reliant you will have to rely on your ex bar so much so you will want to be saving your v trigger bar and your ex bar to get the most out of this v trigger now of course this v trigger doesn't only do that you will notice that when you do the devil reverse he will come from the other side his EX Devil Reverse, this one, or the EX Headstorm, this is a true reversal. So, for example, if Kami try to knock us here, and then throw us on Wake Up. Let's have her do that. Let's get hit first. As you can see, this is a reversal. This is a true Wake Up reversal, and if your opponent blocks this, it is safe on block and you can even do stuff like that it's it's safe on block and if it happens to get blocked you can cancel it into a, like a ex scissors and remain plus and also one of the other things that you might not have noticed is that the inferno becomes safer now remember this was minus 10 minus 11 now it is minus 5 we're talking minus 5 which is a lot safer the scissors have a little bit of invincibility in the startup. Bison will disappear for a bit and then appear. And this can go through fireballs. His blasts also are plus now. Remember the light blast is typically minus two, but in V trigger, it is plus one. So that is also really, really good. You will notice that when Bison is dashing, as we said, he moves a longer distance. 
when you you can cancel anything into anything even on block so you can do the, you can do like a light blast and then go into the ex scissors ex scissors is typically plus one on block when bison activate his v trigger it becomes plus three on block so you're a lot more blast you get much better frame traps overall in my opinion like i said earlier it's a really good v trigger but my biggest issue with it is that you have to save your v trigger bar and your super power to get the most out of it which can be difficult but again the reward is worth it in my opinion so it is a good v trigger but not amazing because of how much you have to save to make the most out of it so now let us talk about bison's second v trigger his v trigger 2 and this v trigger 2 is crazy good in my opinion this v trigger 2 is only a two bars v trigger so it is not you don't have to wait as long to get it as the other one but because it's a two bar v trigger the activations are worse you don't get to activate from scissors you don't get to activate from blast or inferno or even exes right you can only activate from normal attacks so your better activations are sweep into v trigger or the target combo into v trigger activation and even the target combo as you saw is only plus one you might do something like standing heavy kick to v trigger activate and that is not bad but of course you have to be very close for that generally what most bison players love to do is to sweep into v trigger and some things that you have to note about this the later you do it the less positive you are gonna be so for example if i do it really early i'm gonna be plus four but i am from a considerable distance if i do it as late as possible i'm gonna be plus two if i delay it late as possible i'm gonna be minus three so the later you activate the closer you're gonna be to your opponent and the more negative you are going to be so ideally you want to get it you want to get as close to your opponent as possible while not being as negative as possible so a slight delay is the best way to go you don't want to activate right away because you will be really far but a slight delay might be the best way to go here there is a little bit of timing here where i can get the plus two and still be in range to be a threat right so enough about the activation let's talk about what this v trigger actually gives bison and it gives him two main tools two tools which are excellent in my opinion the first one is that it gives bison a command grab it is this command grab it is done by doing a half circle backwards and kick and as you can see when i'm command when i'm grabbing folk bison is like planting a bomb in her and she is gonna be glowing purple and she's gonna grow she's gonna glow more rapidly until it explodes basically bison sets up a bomb inside her op his opponent and it will detonate after a certain time or bison can just detonate it whenever he wants if i do the command grab again he will do this and he will be massively plus so he will detonate the bomb at will and be massively plus so even if she's blocking everything I can do this and now I'm really plus again I can just throw her or do whatever I want it is very very good and this can lead to crazy high combo damage so for example if she is not blocking you can do something like this now she's gonna be flying in a juggle state so you do get a follow-up so for example we are command grabbing here Let's try this again. And that's like that's like a dumb combo, but you still get a lot. So this first of all, Bison having a command grab is really really good because it allows him to have new options. For example, out of here, Bison usually only has his frame traps, but now your opponent have to worry about a command grab. And Bison is a character that typically does a lot of white HP. So as you can see she now have a lot of white hp so when i activate and do my command grab i am taking all of that health away so the command grab is not a high damage command grab it only does 100 damage but because it's a command grab and because bison is constantly building gray hills 
as you can see because bison is constantly building gray hills it allows you to cash in that gray hills and do a lot of damage and not only that your opponent have to worry about a mix up because you can maybe throw them after it do something like that it will explode maybe it was cross up maybe it wasn't maybe you will do his you will have the v skill 2 on you will command grab your opponent and now you are gonna run full screen and teleport and if you do it right they will not know which side you are on at that point and you will get big combos and again the combo damage can be ridiculous so Boyson having command, command grab is really good it gives him a very strong mix up option and there are so many setups after this command grab where you can get insane damage the other thing is of course his psycho crusher and psycho crusher is such an insane absurd attack in this game Psycho Crusher is done by doing just V-Trigger. Pressing the V-Trigger button, he's gonna do his Psycho Crusher. And this attack has so much utility. Let me tell you what it does. First of all, it crosses the screen quickly as you just see. So from a large distance, you can instantly get across to your opponent. And that in itself is really, really good, right? The hitbox is gigantic, as you can see. And if you're noticing, when I do it from a far distance and it hits at the tip, Bison is plus, I am plus 4 and I am in my opponent face. So from full screen you can just Psycho Crusher and you will get to your opponent face and do whatever you want. Not only that, this attack also goes through fireballs. So if Falk here is trying to fireball us, her jumping V-Trigger, you know, special the gunshot, this is a 3 hitting projectile. If I'm getting hit, this hits 3 times, right? You can just psycho crusher through that. You don't give a shit. You just psycho crusher, right? Not only that, this attack is also a combo extender. So for example, if I'm doing something like, say, I will do mediums into scissors. Now I can do mediums into scissors into psycho crusher. So I'm adding more damage. And not only that, you are also adding the ability to super cancel you can still super cancel out of this so you can do something like this and then cancel into super and if you mix it up with the bomb like let's say we are putting the bomb in her i don't know why i keep getting inferno there but if we are putting the bomb on folk As you can see, the damage can get really high. That was 370 damage meter this, which is ridiculous. Ridiculously high damage output, right? But it doesn't all end there with the Psycho Crusher. It actually has other benefits. On block, it makes most of your attacks that are typically unsafe, like the sweep. This is typically minus seven. Now you can sweep and then Psycho Crusher. And you are, you, basically if your opponent try to interrupt, the Psycho Crusher will hit them. So this is really, really good. You can do something like Heavy Inferno into Psycho Crusher. And this Psycho Crusher actually hits the opponent as a cross-up. So if you do Heavy Bunch into Heavy Psycho Crusher, this is a cross-up. And this is what I want to get into. Not only is the Psycho Crusher ridiculous as it is, you can actually get it to hit your opponent as a cross-up. So one of the most famous examples is Backdash. As you can see, it's said cross-up. This Psycho Crusher actually hit my opponent from behind and the beauty of it is that you can delay it and then it will hit from the front so this time I delayed it, it hit twice and it hit from the front but if I do it right away after the standing medium kick it will hit as a cross up so it gives Bison some insane mix up potential even the most simplest of combos like just doing scissors and then Psycho Crusher, this is a cross up how is your opponent gonna block that? That this is almost unblockable. Because if you do the same exact sequence, but delay it just a tiny bit, you're gonna hit from the front. So it is almost unreactable. And the beauty of this V-Trigger is, as you've seen, it is not, it, it isn't EX bar reliant. It's two bars, so you don't have to wait as long to get it, and you don't have to rely on V gauge, or you don't have to rely on your EX gauge. Because like we showed earlier, even, even meterless combos can lead to that much. 
Check out with Super. If I combine the Command Grab and Detonation and Psycho Crusher, you are doing insane damage. This V trigger, in my opinion, is such a good V trigger. Might be one of the better V triggers in the game. It's an absolutely fantastic V trigger. I will be leaving you in the description some links to some setups and how you can get the Psycho Crusher to cross up and all of that. It's a fantastic V trigger. I would actually recommend using it, and it is relatively easy to use as you can just simply do your most basic combos and still do Psycho Crusher. So even if you don't know like all the setups and mixups, you can still do the simplest thing like normal to Psycho Crusher and get insane value out of it. So now before I leave you with combos and Oki, I wanted to talk for a bit about Bison's throw game and his critical art. Bison actually, it's really important to throw your opponent a lot with Bison because he's a character who have to rely a lot on frame traps. You will be doing a lot of stuff like that. So it is important to cash in on that damage with the throw, right? And when your opponent try to take the throw, you will then shimmy or just frame traps him into oblivion. So it is important to know what you get out of a throw and how to utilize it. Of course, every character have a forward throw and a back throw. Bison is no exception. His forward throw is a little bit weird because typically characters get a little bit of a shit after their forward throw. But his forward throw will throw them far away. You get nothing mid-screen out of it. But the back throw is actually really, really good. You will see that the forward does 140 damage. 170 stun, which is good. Back throw does 130 and 150, so a little bit less, but you get pressure after it. After the back throw, you get to do a Psycho Axe. And this is pretty much guaranteed. If your opponent here try to wake up with a 3 frame, let's hear success to try to wake up with a 3 frame. Yep. So if he's trying to wake up with a normal, I will be able to psycho axe him and it's gonna be a crush counter. And even if your opponent try to backdash on wake up, let's set this now to backdash on wake up. Yeah, he's gonna backdash on wake up. So even if they try to backdash, you can you, you can still get these. Yeah. You will still get this throw and you will get damage. So the psycho axe after the throw is pretty much guaranteed. And that is really really good. In the corner, forward throw is actually pretty nice. You can do a little bit of a delayed Psycho X. If you do Psycho X right away, it's gonna whiff. So you have to wait a little bit and then Psycho X, but it's also guaranteed. Overall, Bison gets really good pressure. And back throw to Psycho X is gonna be really important. It's gonna be really important. You have to know this when you're playing Bison. And you have to make your opponent respect you. After you have gotten them to stop pressing buttons or trying to stop to wake up, you can then maybe dash and then do a heavy kick. Or maybe dash and throw them again. You will then start to be able to mix it up. But you, of course, have to convince them to stop challenging first, right? And this brings me to his critical art. Bison Super is a short range attack. It's not the best critical art, but it does do a good amount of damage. Easily combable out of the Inferno. Easy combable out of Scissors. Easily combable out of Blast. So you can combo into this from many things. And actually you can also do it in the air. So you can do something like if your opponent, for example, is jumping at you. If you manage to react fast enough, you can actually get a super here. So this is interesting. Even can get it out of a head storm. So you can even do something like that. Head storm into super. That actually comboed. And when Bison does his super, it instantly carries his opponent to the corner. So right here we were at the right corner. You will see that after my super, the opponent is gonna be in the left corner. And after a dash, you are at neutral, so you do get at least a check. And just having the ability to constantly or instantly corner your opponent is really, really good, of course. Right? And that is pretty much it for Bison. Um, hopefully you have enjoyed this video. If you have liked this video, please leave a like or comment. It helps the channel so much. Please talk about in the comments if you have any question. I'm more than willing to answer. Now I'll leave you with some combos and Oki to get you started. Again, thanks very much for watching and stay safe.